Good morning, brothers and sisters. I wanted to share with you today something that has uh, come to pass. It's a prophecy that has unfolded. And when I got this prophecy, it was a way back in uh, May the 6th of you know, this year, 2023. And uh, today, my uh, video, I have called it Prophecy Exposure because prophecy unfolds. And so, um, like I said, back in May the 6th of 2023, the Lord told me, Morocco influences to be seen. And I didn't really know just exactly what all that was about. And so I posted that on a, a YouTube and you can look that up back in the May the 17th of 2023. Because I had gotten the word on May the 6th and I wasn't to share it until the 17th of May. And just this past uh, September the 8th at 11 p.m., you know, at night, uh, their time, there was a 6.8 magnitude earthquake that struck the Marrakesh Safari region. The earthquake's epicenter was located 73.4 kilometers, which is 46.6 uh, miles south east of Marrakesh, near the town of Engel in the Atlas Mountains. It occurred as a result of the shallow oblique thrusting faulting beneath the mountain range. At least 2,122 deaths were reported. This is what we know so far that it has, I have looked up the uh, information on that. So uh, with most occurring outside Marrakesh. Damage was widespread and historic landmark and Marrakesh were destroyed. The earthquake was also felt in Spain, Portugal, Gebreth, Ebrar, and Marina, and Algeria. It remains the strongest instrumentally recorded earthquake in Morocco and the deadliest in the country since 1960. It also is the second deadliest earthquake of 2023 after the Turkey-Syria earthquake. The World Health Organization estimated about 300,000 people from Marrakesh and the surrounding areas were affected. Uh, this is the thing too that I want to say that um, as an intercessor, the Lord shows me a lot of things that is going to happen in the future, whether it's maybe now or in the future. But as he tells me these things, I will begin to intercede in prayer because nobody wants to see anybody struggle or or die or or suffer. But there are, you know, we have been told over and over again that God is going to do a shaking. And when this shaking happens, he shakes the earth like he'll shake governments because a lot of the things that is going on right now is a lot of exposure behind the scenes and we will never really see a lot of these exposures of you know governmental tyranny that's going on behind the scenes in our regular news because they have been told by their leaders not to share these things but god wants everything exposed so that we will not be shocked when he shakes the earth and changes things in governments because at this time, there are a lot of governmental uh, platforms and stuff that are crumbling because God is wanting to set his people free. We were never meant to be under the tyranny of these people. It's like these, these modern day pharaohs, you know, like in, in most people know or, you know, a, a great number of people know about the Bible and what Pharaoh was all about and Moses was God's uh, prophet of the time and he went out and he delivered God's people out of the hands of Pharaoh because he was an evil leader and he oppressed the people and so uh, like I was saying back here in um, May the 6th uh, the Lord had said Morocco influence which is the news I didn't know that at the time but the Lord just said and you can like I said you can go back this was posted on May the 17th of 2023 Morocco influence to be seen. Leadership falsifying secret documents exposed in the treasury. No more secrets of the people rise up to take up arms against the government. Prestige alignments to form into evil. 
and he stopped right there and he began to talk to me about a lot of different things and that doesn't really pertain to what I'm sharing with you today but then he picked it up a little while later down uh, the line here and he said um, you know uh, th that goes along with this uh, Morocco thing it said cracking cracking the earth quaking and changing course land changes screaming heard as evil people fall to their death and that was something that uh I'm, I'm not saying that all of these people were evil god does not mean that but at the same time when governments have to change there is a shaking behind the scenes there's a shaking in the spirit realm and when things are being shaken in the spirit realm we will see these things being shaken on the earth and i know there have been there's been many uh prophetic words that have been given that uh things are going to happen in the natural because god is wanting like i was saying to expose everything that's going on in the world right now so if you're doing any kind of dirty deals behind the scenes that involves other people whether it's your friends or your family you better stop it because god is not having any more of this stuff going on he's had enough He's not fooling around. You know, we can't say this enough because God loves us so much. He is, you know, like we see as a parent. If you're a parent of children that are really just keeping doing something over and over again and you you warn them time and time again to stop it he, you, the parent will go and you know either send them on a timeout or they'll send them to the room or they'll take uh, privileges away but they're going to have to get it god is our parent and he will do whatever means it is to save us from ourselves he loves us that much Jesus Christ went to Calvary so that we could be redeemed to back to him as we give of ourselves, our hearts, our lives, everything that we are and everything that we aren't to him and ask him into our lives in every area of our lives. And he will open our eyes like he will give us dreams. He will give us visions and he will, he will give us prophecies. It's like this one that he has given me going away back to May the 6th. Like I, like it really came to me when that earthquake was, I was having a hard time to find that prophecy that the Lord had uh, given to me. And when I, um, had done the video back in May, there was something about the news. And so I knew that God was going to do something and that we would actually see it in the news because yeah, there's a lot of times we don't know what's going on behind the scenes, but most people can see that if there's an earthquake going on, it is going to, uh, you know, affect so many people. It's not just the people that live in the country, but it is the world will be able to see what's going on. And God is going to continue. I'm sorry to say this, but God is going to continue to shake more and more people up is going to be more earthquakes there's going to be more storms because god is wanting people to stop looking at everything that they're doing right now that does not really pertain to what he wants done he wants us to get our our mind and our heart right with him because he loves us he does not want us to just you know be destroyed like he's trying to shake you know it's like a lot of people say Oh boys, that person really needs a shaking. We all need to be shaken up from time to time because we don't realize that we're on the wrong path. God help us. So I really hope that this word speaks to you today. And you know, like, share, and subscribe. And like I said, go back and see on the video that I had shared back on May. You know, I posted it on May the 17th, you know, of this year, 2023. And so gradually as the Lord has me share prophecies from the past, we will know, you know, and like I said, at first, we always, when we're given a word from the Lord, we're to take it to the Lord, ask him when he wants us to share it. And because it is encouraging to us, it's encouraging to other people that God is continuing to show us what he's up to and what he is going to address and we are to be ready 
And we especially have got to have our hearts in our lives. We got to share this with our kids, our grandkids, and so forth. And so I really hope that you're blessed today. And I just thank you, Lord Jesus, for this day that you have given. God, you are in control. We're not. Help us, Lord God, to align ourselves to your plans and purposes so that, Lord, we won't have to come under correction. Because we know, God, that you love us so much. It is not your will to punish us when we don't need it. But God, I just pray even now for the families, Almighty God, that are struggling and have lost loved ones, Lord God. Because many times, Lord God, it's sad to say, but even the innocent end up paying for the mistakes of the evil. But God, I pray that you will, you will, Lord God, show yourself real. Show these people that you love them, Lord God, that it's not your plan to destroy or harm everyone. But Lord God, we know that we need to be saved many times from ourselves because we have gone so far away from you. Help us, Lord Jesus. Help us, Lord Jesus. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Come in, Lord Jesus, to every area of our lives and draw us, Almighty God. Draw us to yourself. So I hope that this really blesses you today and that you will seek the Lord first in all areas of your life. God bless you today.